So next we will understand balancing of several masses rotating in different planes. Let us consider six masses. So here 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5 and 6 okay, are the disturbing masses. The intermediate masses are balancing masses. That is how we have to assume. So if you assume so, so this M1, 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 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 6 different masses are rotating in 6 different planes and the distance between these planes are known. So L1 is known, L distance between plane 1, plane 2 is L1, 3, 4 is L2, uh, 1, 4 is L3 and so on. So the distance between the planes is known. So here, you can notice here, so we have considered some reference plane. So the reference plane is considered here. Uh, which which plane we can consider as a reference plane? That is important. So consider the reference plane where you have one unknown value. For example, the mass of this is to be determined, which is an unknown value now. Now take this as a reference plane so that that value will become zero in case of a couple polygon. So that if there are two unknowns in this column, I will explain this table a little later. If there are two unknown values in this column, so one of the unknown will become zero, so that this is left with only one unknown. So you can you can find out one unknown very easily. That is how we have to decide the uh, reference plane. So be careful while choosing the reference plane because, for example, f five, m five, may also be an unknown value, which is to be determined. You cannot take this as a reference plane. So if you take this as a reference plane, so what will happen? So the distances from the left hand side of the reference plane will be considered as negative. The distances from the right hand side, the distance from the mass to the reference plane, to the right hand side is positive, left hand side is negative. So if you take this as a reference plane, so you will have more number of negative values. So calculation will become difficult. Also the, the plotting of the graph may be difficult. So better to take this as a reference plane. So now let, if you are cons considering this as a reference plane, the left hand side of the reference planes are considered as negative. That means if this is L1, so while re while entering the value here, you have to write minus L1. That is how, that is how it is. So L2, L3, L4, L5 are positive. So step one is to draw the space diagram showing all the distances between the planes and the mass positions. Also draw the side wave of the side wave showing the positions of the masses. So be careful here because we will be using only the graphical method so this must be to the scale to the scale in the sense you, you, you for example if the radius r1 is 100 millimeter no need to take exactly 100 millimeter scale i'm talking about theta that means the angular positions of these masses if theta 2 is 45 degree you have to exactly show it 45 degree because we will be uh, drawing the vector polygons uh, force polygon and couple polygon uh, parallel to this 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 line so this must be to the scale otherwise we'll end up with the problem so show this sh show this diagram to the actual scale uh, m1 m2 m3 m4 f5 m6 etc theta 1 theta 2 up to theta 6 and r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 and r6 the next step is to construct the tabular column so now this is the tabular column the more the standard form of tabular column so plane there are six planes in this case so there are six planes. <coughs> Next, you write the mass column. M1, there are six masses. I have written six masses here. Next, mass M in kg. And uh, radius is expressed, radius is R, expressed in meter. So, R1, R2, R3, R5, R6. Next, this is centrifugal force. CF is centrifugal force. So, the centrifugal force actually is M omega square R. No? So, omega square is divided is the, this m omega square is ignored here because all the masses will be rotating the same speed so it is ignored it will get cancels each other so it is ignored so we have taken only the product of m and r m is kg r is kg meter r is meter so product is kg meter so multiply this and this right m1 r1 m2 r3 etc next the distance from the reference plane for example what is the distance from the reference plane to the plane one from the plane 1, what is the distance from the reference plane? So plane 1 is this, reference plane chosen is this. So this distance is L1. But here it is, we have mentioned minus L1 because it is in the left hand side of the reference plane. That's why it is minus L1. Now what is the distance of the plane 2 from the reference plane? 
So plane two and reference planes are the same. There's no distance. So write zero. Similarly, what is the distance from plane three to the uh, to the reference plane? That is L two. This is L two. Similarly, L four, L three, L four, and L five is written here. Then finally, the couple column. The couple is uh, the force into distance. So M R is the force, the centrifugal force into distance. So this was in kg meter into meter. So unit is kg meter square. So multiply M R with L, you will get minus M R L. Multiply this with this, you will get zero. This with this, and so on. So now complete the tabular column like this. After you construct the tabular column, the next step is to draw the force polygon or couple polygon. So there are some cases where where you may have to draw the force polygon first. There are some cases where you may have to draw the couple polygon first. So that is that is based on, for example. So if you know all the values of this column, you can draw the force polygon. Or if there are one unknown value here, again you can draw the force polygon. If there are two unknown values, you cannot draw the force polygon first. Similarly, here if you know all the values. of this column you can draw the couple polygon first or if you know if you have one unknown value also you can draw the couple polygon if you have two unknown values you cannot draw the couple polygon first that is how we have to decide whether we have to draw the force polygon first or couple polygon first assume uh, assume in this case so we have one unknown value so we can draw the couple polygon first because there are two unknown values here so we can draw the couple polygon first After you draw the couple polygon, you can find out one of the unknown value. So substitute that one of the unknown value. That means you may be finding out M4 or M5, which was unknown here also. Now substitute the value of M5 here, M5 here. Then if you substitute the value of M5, earlier there were two unknowns here. It will become one unknown. Now with one unknown, you can draw the centrifugal force, uh, force polygon. Now draw the force polygon. Again, you can find out. one of the unknown value so i will explain this method with an example so that you can you can can very easily understand the method so next we will talk take one uh, worked example and uh, again we will discuss the steps involved in graphical method